can you expand this logarithm into a sum and difference of logs? That's what we're gonna do in this video. So pause the video, see if you can try this one on your own. We'll go through it together. But just a quick refresher, when you go from the left to the right side of these equations, we're expanding. So remember when you multiply, you can write it as a sum of two logs. When you divide, you can write it as a difference. And when you have this power, you can bring that power down in front. That's our pro power property of logarithms. So if I was gonna do this, I notice there's a division sign here, right? We're dividing, that's a quotient. I can write this as a difference. So I'm gonna start off by saying log, and if you remember, if there's not a base, it's understood to be base 10. So this is gonna be log of the fifth root of x squared y minus three cubed minus log a to the fifth, z to the seventh. Okay, so that's our first step. Okay, now what would, would you do from here? Well, this fifth root, okay, this fifth root is really the same thing as the one-fifth power. So what I could do is I could rewrite this a little bit. Let's say log of x squared y minus three to the third. Instead of the fifth root, we could say the one-fifth power. And then remember, power to a power, we multiply those exponents. So I'm gonna do that in the next step. But then here, we're subtracting, but notice these guys are multiplied together. So when we're multiplying, we can write it as a sum of logs. But I'm gonna put this in parentheses or in brackets here. I'm gonna say log of a to the fifth plus log of z to the seventh. Okay, see it's this whole quantity that's being subtracted. That's why I put it in parentheses. Okay, now what we can do is we can bring these powers down in front of the log. That's our power property and I'm gonna distribute this negative into the parentheses. So that's gonna give us negative five log A minus seven log Z. And over here, we're just gonna distribute the one fifth. So this came out to log of X to the two fifths and Y minus three to the three fifths. Notice these are multiplied as well. So we can write this as a sum of two logs. That's our uh, product property right here at the top. So we're gonna write this as log of x to the two fifths plus log of y minus three to the three fifths minus, I'll just bring these guys down, we'll just take our time here expanding, log z. Okay, so now we've got some exponents here. We can use our power property to bring those down in front. And let's see what this looks like. So it looks like we have two fifths log of x plus three fifths log of the quantity y minus three. We can't really expand this. It's not, you know, it's not division. It's not multiplication. We don't have a power. It's just this binomial, this quantity y minus three. That's as far as we can go. Minus five log of a minus seven log of z. And that's fully expanded. Now, if you wanna check your work, you could try to reverse those steps, right? Condense it and get back to the original uh, expression that we had. So great job if you're able to solve this problem. If you wanna learn more about logs, uh, not just expanding and condensing, but solving logarithmic equations, graphing logs, evaluating logs, et cetera, I've got a complete guide right there. Uh, go ahead and follow me over that video. We'll get some more practice with logarithms. I'll see you there.